obvious transformation which maps the circle mod z less than equal to 1 conformally onto mod w minus 1 less than equal to 1 and makes the points z equal to 0, 1 correspond to w equal to 1 half, 0 respectively. So z equal to 0 is corresponding to w equal to 1 half and z equal to 1 is corresponding to w equal to 0. These are the conditions given to us. So to start with the solution, let's take w to be as our original transformation that is az plus b over cz plus d with a very important condition that ad minus bc should not be equal to 0. So let this be the required transformation, right? Because we need to map mod z less than equal to 1 onto mod w minus 1 less than equal to 1, so let's consider w minus 1 first. So considering w minus 1, so this is equal to just put the value of w from here. This is az plus b over cz plus d minus 1. az plus b minus cz minus d over cz plus d. All right. Now taking z common from the numerator, we get this w minus 1 as a minus c into z plus b minus d divided by cz plus d, right? And after that, just take a minus c, the coefficient of z common from the numerator and c, the coefficient of z common from the denominator. Let's take this. So taking a minus c common from the numerator and c common from the denominator, we get z plus b minus d over a minus c divided by z plus d over c. Please mark this as 1. And now the inverse points with respect to the circle mod w minus 1 equal to 1 are we know that 0 and infinity, right? And the corresponding points will be, okay. Please look at over here from 1. When this w minus 1 is 0, if z is in the numerator, if z is negative b minus d over a minus c, right? When z is equal to negative of b minus d over a minus c, this w minus 1 becomes 0 because numerator will be 0 then, right? For w minus 1 equal to 0, negative b minus d over a minus c right okay when this w minus 1 is equal to infinity so the corresponding point for w minus 1 equal to infinity is negative d over c right because 0 and infinity are the inverse points with respect to the circle mod w minus 1 equal to 1 so the corresponding points must be the inverse points with respect to the circle mod z equal to 1 yes all right so right here Hence, negative b minus d over a minus c and negative d over c must be the inverse points with respect to the circle mod z equal to 1. So that we may write, okay, let's take alpha to be negative b minus d over a minus c and taking the inverse point of alpha as 1 over alpha bar. So taking this to be as negative d over c, the other point, because these two are inverse points. These must be the inverse points. Let's put the values of these two. So writing b minus d over a minus c as negative alpha and negative 1 over alpha bar, right? So we get w minus 1 to be equal to a minus c over c into z minus alpha over z minus 1 over alpha bar, right? So this is further equal to a minus c over c into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1 into alpha bar, right? Please mark this as 2. So we require mod of w minus 1 equal to 1 when mod z equal to 1. 
So thus I can write this as 1 equal to mod w minus 1 and I'm going to work on this using mod z equal to 1. Now how can I write mod z further as? I can write this as z z bar equal to 1. Right? Okay. So now from 2 just taking the mod on both the sides and so this becomes mod of a minus c over c into alpha bar into mod of z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus 1 right and now putting the value of 1 over here from this just writing 1 as z z bar in the next step so this is equal to mod of a minus c alpha bar over c into z minus alpha over z alpha bar minus z z bar okay so this is equal to mod of a minus c alpha bar over c and this is z minus alpha as it is and taking z common from the denominator we get alpha bar minus z bar and because mod of z is equal to 1 so this mod of z will be 1 and mod of z minus alpha is always equal to mod of alpha bar minus z bar so this will go the mod of the numerator and denominator will go so we get mod of a minus c into alpha bar over c and this is okay let me write this as first mod of z minus alpha divided by mod of z mod of alpha bar minus z bar right so these two will go and this mod of z is equal to one so this is finally mod of a minus c alpha bar over c and this is your one at the left hand side so this mod is equal to one right so that we may write this a minus c over c into alpha bar to be equal to e the power let's say iota lambda where this lambda is real right so where this lambda is real right and now from 2 what is 2 this from 2 just put the value of a minus c into alpha bar over c as e the power iota lambda right so i'm going to put this value as e the power iota lambda so w minus 1 is equal to e the power iota lambda into z minus alpha divided by z alpha bar minus 1 right please mark this as 3 and it is very easy to verify that the interiors corresponds so thus this 3 is a general transformation which maps mod z less than equal to 1 onto mod w minus 1 less than equal to 1 and now we are going to apply the given conditions to get the particular case of this 3 so now the particular form of 3 under the given conditions what is given to us that w equal to 1 half when z equal to 0 so from 3 just put w equal to 1 half and z equal to 0 here putting w equal to 1 half and z equal to 0 we get 1 half minus 1 is equal to e the power iota lambda into this is 0 minus alpha over 0 minus 1 right so 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half so this is equal to e the power alpha lambda and this is just alpha right and now the second condition w equal to 0 when z equal to 1 so putting here w equal to 0 and z equal to 1 we get this is 0 minus 1 is equal to e the power alpha lambda into 1 minus alpha over alpha bar minus 1 so this is further equal to this is negative 1 so this is e the power iota lambda okay i can use e the power iota lambda from here as minus 1 over 2 alpha right so just writing from here it is negative 1 over 2 alpha into 1 minus alpha over alpha bar minus 1 so this negative will go and I get this to be as 1 minus alpha is equal to 2 alpha into alpha bar minus 1 which is further equal to 1 minus alpha is equal to 2 alpha alpha bar minus 2 alpha 
and we get the equation as 2 alpha alpha bar and this is just take this negative alpha to the other side we get this to be as negative alpha minus 1 equal to 0 because alpha is complex number i can write if alpha to be equal to a1 plus iota a2 so alpha bar becomes a1 minus iota a2 right and their product will be then twice a1 square plus a2 square minus this is a1 plus iota a2 minus 1 equal to 0. Now because I can write 0 to be as 0 plus iota 0, right? If you uh, equate the real parts, you will get twice a1 square plus a2 square minus a1 minus 1 equal to 0 and when you equate the imaginary part there is only one imaginary part over here so you will get negative a2 is equal to 0 that is a2 is equal to 0 right and just putting a2 equal to 0 over here we get 2a1 square minus a1 minus 1 equal to 0 and from here we get just factorize this we get 2a1 plus 1 into a1 minus 1 equal to 0 which is further implying that a1 is equal to negative 1 half and 1 now from here because alpha is a1 plus iota a2 a2 is 0 so alpha is a1 and alpha bar is also a1 right so alpha is equal to negative one half or one let's check which of this value of alpha works okay when alpha is equal to one three becomes just put alpha equal to one in this third equation we get w minus one is equal to e d power iota lambda and this is z minus one over z minus one so because alpha bar is also 1 then so this 2 will go and we get w minus 1 equal to e the power iota lambda which is not a bilinear transformation so let's consider alpha to be negative 1 half the only possibility right then from star we get what is star from the star i'm having e the power iota lambda into alpha equal to minus 1 by 2 so if you put alpha here to be as negative 1 half we get e the power iota lambda to be equal to 1, right? Because we are considering the value alpha equal to negative 1 by 2. So for this value, I am getting e the power iota lambda as 1. From star, we get e the power iota lambda equal to 1. So this three equation becomes w minus 1 equal to e the power iota lambda is 1. And this is z minus minus 1 by 2, that is plus 1 by 2 divided by z alpha bar is also then minus 1 by 2 right so this is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 so that is further equal to negative 2z plus 1 in the numerator divided by z plus 2 2 and 2 will cancel out so further w is equal to 1 minus 2z plus 1 over z plus 2 z plus 2 minus 2z minus 1 over z plus 2 and this is 2 minus 1 is 1 minus z and in the denominator we get z plus 2. So this is our required transformation. Thus w equal to 1 minus z over z plus 2 is the required transformation. Okay, thank you.